What if? What if you had a friend who died without knowing Jesus as their personal savior? What if he or she went to hell? What if one day you received a letter in the mail from beyond? A letter from hell. A letter from your friend in the flames of eternal torment. The following is a dramatic presentation. It was written by a fictitious high school student named Josh to a friend named Zach. Although Zach had every opportunity to tell Josh about Jesus, he didn't. They were best friends. They played soccer together, they went to classes together, they partied together, they shared their lives with each other. But there was one thing Zach held back from Josh. His personal relationship with Jesus Christ. The rest of the story is simple and sad. A few too many beers. A tragic drive home. A crash. A death. A funeral. A letter. Here is that letter in its entirety. A letter from hell. Dear Zach, I died today. It's a lot different than I expected. You see, I always thought dying would bring me into a world that's foggy and hazy. But this place is crystal clear. It's even more real than my life on Earth. I can think. Feel. Right after the wreck, I could feel my spirit leaving my body. It was the weirdest thing, Zach. I thought I heard you screaming out to me, man. I must have been just imagining things. At first, I was just standing in line, getting registered, I guess. They asked me for my name and began to look this thing they call the Book of Life. I guess they couldn't find it though, because this huge angel standing next to me grabbed me by the arm and started dragging me away. I was terrified. I had no idea what was going on. I asked the angel where he was taking me, but he didn't answer. So I asked him again. Finally, he told me, that only those whose names were written in the book of life could enter into heaven. And the rest would be contemned to hell forever. Man, I was scared. The angel threw me into some kind of holding cell where I've been sitting and thinking for a long, long time. Do you want to know what I've been thinking about? I've been thinking about you. Zach, you're a Christian. You told me so yourself. I mean, we talked about it three different times today. Kelly brought it up, and you laughed it off. Coach Adams brought it up, and you changed the subject. I mean, it came up right before the wreck. Well, the question I can't get out of my mind is this, Zach. Why haven't you ever told me about how to become a Christian? I mean, you say you're my friend. But if you really were, you would have told me about this Jesus and told me how to escape this terrible place that I'm headed for. I can feel my heart pounding in my chest. The angels who have been chosen to cast me into hell are coming down the hallway. I can hear their footsteps. I've heard of this hell, Zach. They call it the lake of fire. I can't stand it, Zach. I'm terrified. No, the angels are at the door. Oh, no. no. I'm very hungry. They're coming in, and they're pointing at me. Buddy. They're grabbing me and carrying me no. out of the room. I don't want I that. I can already smell the burning Buddy. sulfur and brimstone. I can see the edge of the cliff where hell burns. This is it. I am without hope. We're coming closer. 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 My heart is bursting with fear. I'm very hungry. They're holding me over the flame. I'm down no. forever. I don't want that. They have thrown me in. That wasn't too Fire. bad. Pain. Hell. Why, Zach? Why didn't you ever tell me about Jesus? Jesus. Jesus. 
outside. Your friend, Josh. Yes. Well, I wish you were here. Wish you were here. Bother me with my friend at work. He's got his own religion. I don't have time to change his mind. He'll make his own decision. Don't bother me with that little girl, the girl playing in the street. She's much too young to understand that the savior she can meet. Don't bother me with the sounds I hear, the sounds of people shrieking. Although I wonder who they are, who are these victims screaming? Don't bother me with who they are. I really don't want the blame. Because it's my friend at work and that little girl who from hell scream out my name. Even in this life, the pain of fire is the greatest of all pains. But the difference between our fire and that of hell is such that, according to St. Vincent Ferrer, our fire is cold. Our fire is created for our use. But the fire of hell is created by God expressly to torment. So that unhappy wretch will be surrounded by fire like wood in a furnace. He will find an abyss of fire below, an abyss above, an abyss on every side. If he touches, sees, breathes, he breathes only fire. He will be in fire like a fish in water. This fire will not only surround the dam, but it will enter into his bowels to torment him. His body will become all fire, so that the bowels within him will burn. His heart will burn in his bosom, his brains in his head, his blood in his veins, even the marrow in his bones. Each reprobate will in himself become a furnace of fire. Some cannot bear to walk on a road burnt up by the sun, nor can they endure a spark that flies from a candle. And yet they fear not that fire which devours. The fire of hell devours the damned. It devours without ever destroying them. In hell there is no hope, neither true nor false. The unhappy wretch will always have written...